Hi, my name's Fred Weller and today I'm doing a TV trailer review of Marvels and Humans. Don't ask me what Inhumans is or what's the difference between an Inhuman or a Human. I'm just assuming that they are super powered because it's Marvel. But I could be wrong. I have no idea. I've never read the Inhumans. The comic book, graphic novels, I don't know what they are. So how will anybody else? I don't understand why we see a trailer for this. I don't know why we have a TV series for this. Anyway, this is about the freedom for all Inhumans. This is the focus of the story. Because apparently the king of the Inhumans has told them they can't go to Earth. And I'm assuming that's the focus of the story. Can't go to Earth and that's not fair. So he, he faces like a political coup from his treasonous brother who tries to take control so that all Inhumans can go to wonderful Earth because apparently they either live on the moon or above Earth but they can't go to Earth as such. So the Inhuman King has to escape from his brother, goes to Earth with his big ugly dog the size of a cow where they become like major traffic hazards throughout the trailer. He gets beaten up by police he beats up police, of course you've got to have that, and his brother takes control of the throne and starts getting the Inhumans to work together so they can go to Earth. And I don't honestly know all the details because it's very confusing from the trailer and it doesn't make, I, don't, I just don't feel like I'm getting this as a Marvel movie, uh, Marvel movie? Marvel TV series should I say, Marvel TV series. While this is happening, the Inhuman King is running around the cities of Earth for some reason. I'm not sure why, but he is. This is made for ABC Television. It's also going to be available on IMAX cinema screens, probably just a pilot. Why not? You know, they got to have some business as well. I didn't see anything that really excited me. Not really. And it just looks like a whole lot of fancy soap opera stuff with a bit of fighting, gunfights and some ground-pounding special effects. Uh, and I mean, can you really build a story or TV series revolving around a dog the size of a cow chasing cars around the city? I'm not sure that you can. I suppose you could try for a little while, it might be slightly entertaining. Look, this could be Marvel's first stud. I didn't see anything to excite me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't watch it. I'm not sure that other people either. I could be wrong, it could be just the trailer, the TV series might be fantastic. Anyway, I didn't really like it and that's all I have to say. See you later.